Hi y'all, Darren Hansborough from DA Components. Uh, this week's video is the second one in the series of my top five products. So this week is my top five products for Waterford Pole. So first of all, that I prefer is a sill brush. The reason why the sill brush is, so as you clean the window, it actually finishes off and it cleans the sill. I think the rectangular ones a bit different for when you're doing commercial jobs or where there's no sills so you clean the sill. So that's my number one. So I'm just going to do a demonstration of how the sill brush works and it just goes to show that I haven't cleaned my own windows for a while. So here we go. my number one and a quick demonstration how the sill brush cleans the sill on the top window So I like using the sill brush and this is one with pencil jets in with the capsule. And now we're going to talk about product number two. And product number two for me has got to be the good old favourite univalve. Now the univalve fits in the first section of most window cleaning poles and basically it's a valve like so. I'm just going to turn this brush so I don't wet myself. And as you pull the hose, the water comes out and it pulls this uh, valve here and the water jets out the brush. So I'm just gonna pull it. Now I'll turn the backpacks came on. And as you pull it again, it turns the backpack off. Obviously the backpack's building up pressure and it'll eventually turn off. So the univalve, if you have any problems with the univalve, I do believe Exceed Innovations will sort you out. They do repair kits and uh, a very good company to deal with. So that's my product number two. So now I'm just going to put this back into the pole. So just bear with. Like so. So product number three would be pad holders. Now the mini walnut pad holder seems to be my favourite. I think, I think it's a lot of people's favourite because it's a lot lighter. Uh, so you can just spin it on the pole. And as you spin it on the pole, you line it up. And it's very good for getting bird muck off. And it's very good for getting a little bee pollen off. And uh, some of the stubborn, stubborn marks off glass or PVC as well. So when you, you can leave this on as well because it's so light. Or you can just literally thread it off and put that away. And it's a good alternative for the old, good old bronze wall 
and uh, so yeah that's the mini walnut pad holder and we also have the standard size for that if you want to get uh, the bigger version which is very good for polycarbonate sheets to remove the green algae and stubborn marks and then if you want to clean some sort of uh, lichen spores off solar panels we do have the stainless steel paddle where this one is a stainless steel pad and it's rust free it doesn't rust and this actually takes the top off the, the lichen which is on the polycarbonate tube and so you know, very good for solar panel cleaning that's my uptake on pad holders and coming on to number fourth product which uh, to me is a backpack holds 20 litres of water and the reason why we like using backpacks is because most of our housework is two two down terrace houses and I find it really tricky to get the reel out 100 metre reel and you're doing about 10 to 15 ounces and it just gets snagged everywhere so I prefer uh, using the backpack uh, attached to a heavy duty fold away trolley uh, I do believe that this one's a lot heavy duty than the smaller version because with it holding 20 litres of water this is actually rated at about 50 to 80 kg so you can handle the weight off the backpack now the trolley does actually come with a bungee cord as well so what we've done is we just strapped the actual trolley to it and just went twice round the actual backpack so it's hooked onto there and last but not least, what we actually did is we used the pole, we used a CLX27 or a SLX25 and we've actually extended the pole holes so you've got enough pole holes so you can possibly leave this trolley at the front of the house or if you've got a terrace house or if you've got two houses together you can leave it in one position and it just makes you not moving the backpack so many times now once that's done, what you will be finding is that the backpack's gonna get empty. So once the backpack's empty, I just walk to the van, open the side door, take the lid off the tank, the actual uh, tank in the van holds all the water, pure water, and we have here is a transfer pump. It's basically, we pop that into the tank, comes out the other end, which is this hose here, goes into the backpack, and we have little crocodile clips which connects to the 12 volt battery so in theory this transfer pump here is always left in the van at the side of the van because it's a lot easier to get in lift the lid off or if you're waiting throughout the day just leave the lid off the van because I'm not going to be moving the van there's a couple of variations of this available as well okay you get like I think it's a 12 mil outlet or a 19 mil outlet We've gone for the 19 mil outlet, so this hose here is about 19 to 20 mil. It's a little bit bigger than your normal garden hose, because we did have the garden hose ones, and it feels like it's filling the backpack for like a few minutes. But with this transfer pump, it fills that backpack in 10 to 15 seconds. That's how we use the trolley system, the backpack, and the water fed pump. That's my five stroke six top tips and top products for water fed pole. Thank you very much, Darren Hansborough from Deer Compost.